This case has been on for a while and we've taken some people to court. You must have heard and I believe you covered this incident where Ewan Katwes J. Enoch and others were charged to court with the offense of money laundering. Now, during the course of the investigation of the other previous case, we were able to learn that in 2019, some two gentlemen, Americans by origin, had transacted business of gold in West, uh, West Africa, particularly in Cameroon. They had bought gold worth five million and they left the remaining part with the gold dealers to ship it or take it to their home country in Canada. Indeed, this consignment traveled from Cameroon via Nairobi, Dubai, to Canada. But the unfortunate, the, the, the unfortunate bit of it is that when this consignment reached Canada, and was opened by the consignees. They were shocked to find out that the consignment, uh, consignment had aluminium bars instead of gold. Of course, it was a shock to them, considering the kind of money they had put in it. And uh, during the course of the shock, a week after, they alleged that they received a phone call from Uganda. The caller identified himself as Idi Taban Amin and that he identified himself as the head of intelligence services in Uganda. They contend that they googled and indeed found out that Idi Amin Taban is within the security services of Uganda. Of course, they allege that uh, he told them that their gold that was from Cameroon was intercepted from Uganda and that the people who were taking it didn't have genuine documents. So he gave them an ultimatum of two weeks to come and sort it out and take their gold, or less they will lose it. We have him here. Of course, we are still processing him. We have finished interrogating him. Is recording a statement and then we shall take a decision on whether we can give him either a police bond or but if we realize that uh, his readies may jeopardize the remaining inquiries then inevitably we may detain him until Monday when we hope the matter will uh, be completed.